Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter, and this is the basic Sorgonomics for, oh, what is it? It's for Tuesday, June uh 16th 2015 and of course check out everything at sorgatron.com i got my uh, uh creative newsletter up there my blog post talking about linkedin really inspired by some people some great conversations that uh that we've been having over the last few, few weeks about what like, linkedin and why does it matter and maybe i'll have a follow-up podcast to that later in the week but in the meantime instagram is on my mind and uh i want a little bit of a thought experiment we kind of were we were running with this idea last week and we we executed it with a great musician uh james buckley here in, in in Pittsburgh that I, I get to work with. Uh, and now Seclair is a client of mine. You can check them out. It's French. Uh, Seclair.com. S-E-C-L-A-I-R-E-R.com. I'll the, hopefully I'll remember to link this in the in the notes to this. Of course, wherever you found me. Uh, but anyways, uh, so so you know, it's behavioral therapy. We talk about mindfulness when we're using my, uh, music, and I was like, you know, this is a great resource, right? And I try to figure out new ways for us to make content for online. Use a little bit of video. Use some of these platforms. So starting with Instagram, and of course, you make something for Instagram. You've made something for everything else too. You've made something for 15 seconds that's digestible. You can put that on the YouTube. You can put that on the Facebook. You can put that on the new Twitter video. Uh, you know, making stuff for Twitter video natively if you don't know if you are uh, if you have twitter on i think it's on both android and ios i'm using ios uh you can actually upload or make a video if you go to my uh, twitter.com slash or slash sorgatron uh go through there go over the media uh, actually today uh, on the on monday i was making some native videos of like hey here we're producing stuff go check this out that you know etc 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 and uh we uh we had some fun with that, uh, but I'm also taking portions like portions of this show and 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 putting clips of that up there, and and we're splitting that out as we've discussed on another podcast here. Uh, go look up for some ones where I'm talking about uh, clamor and Instagram, and, and you'll, you'll we'll talk about the process a little bit. But I'm making an 18 second audio clip for clamor. There were 15 seconds for there, and and we can stretch it out to 30 seconds for Twitter, and it's just everywhere and, and it's another entry point. But we're, we we want to make original content for Instagram. So, and not just the behind the scenes stuff that we're doing. And if you're on video, uh, here's actually the, the uh, Instagram page. Uh, with a lot of stuff from today, a little bit of, uh, of course, a picture of behind the scenes and the awesome blue snowball microphone that we've been using. Um, a little bit of video, of course, we, we were periscoping our production a little bit while we're recording it. And I'm going to split this video that he was doing up into several little sections uh, here for, you know, for, for what we're doing. Uh, so basically the idea was he was going to create these mindful jingles right uh these these you know just a little bit of uh phrases he's come up with two music some mindful thoughts uh going into it uh you know so we can maybe post these every week and and hopefully it's going to be a little tidbit and we got tagged with seclair.com so people hopefully go back to the website and uh, little bits that will be shareable. That hopefully people are, are are really getting into and 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 can do some stuff with. Uh, so we he sat down and did ten of these things. And you gotta think, okay, so we're doing this weekly, or maybe you're doing it daily, and you just balance out ten things like this. Um, so we have again, you know, ten ten just you know ten second loops that he's doing. And uh, I got it tagged. We have the, the, the dot com in the corner. We have his name in there. And, and I put a little text in there about like what the phrase is and uh, mindful music. Please share it if it brightened your day. And, and we'll see what kind of traction this gets here. And, and we did it in such a way. So it is a phrase. And all I did was the phrase over and over again. And that's actually going to translate in the in the repeat function that Instagram naturally does, you know, much like Vine does as well. And now we have this loop thing that's just kind of telling you, you know, kind of a nice phrase that gets into it and, 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 and feeling a little better about yourself, hopefully, for the day. And again, longer versions, uh, you can put up to 30 seconds on Twitter. You can put whatever on Facebook. So I took like a 30-second version for that. And again, you know, you may notice we made sure to crop everything and make sure the titles worked out for that square that's happening, that square format, video format that's happening in Instagram. And then we, you know, have the normal version as well. Uh, again, and, and I gotta admit, I'm copying a lot of this idea from uh, uh, on Instagram, uh, 15 Sec Tech. 
some great Amber MacArthur and all them uh, doing a great thing there, doing a 15 second tip or review product review, something like that. And I'm, I'm trying to figure out ways to apply this to some of the properties we're working with here, some of the clients we're working with here to really get them into these new platforms and, and get stuff that people are, 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 are going to dig out there. So then I'm taking this. And I'm trying, again, trying to apply it to some other stuff. What, what can we do? As, you know, we're already taking, I don't think I want to create new content just yet for shows like this, shows like the Wrestling Mayhem show, shows like Awesome Cast, because I am already, one, they don't each have their own Instagram. So it's kind of going to be hard to manage. I'm being careful about that because uh, I don't want to open an Instagram for every one of those things and not be able to manage it. For those who don't know, uh, Instagram doesn't have, I can't go to Hootsuite.com where I manage all my Facebook, all my Twitter, and just post Instagrams and schedule Instagrams. I got to get in there on my phone, log out of my personal account, log into that account uh, for, for Seclair Wrestling Mayhem Show, and then I got to post the videos, I got to do this, I got to make sure the videos that I made get airdropped to my phone or Google Drive to my phone and save it to my camera roll so it can get picked up on Instagram. It's an arduous process to do something a little bit more than and just taking pictures and putting a filter on and doing that thing. But that's great too. Nothing wrong with that. But when you're planning out in advance, it becomes an issue, something like this, because now you have to put a little reminder. There's an extra process like, okay, okay, it's Monday. I got to make sure I post another one of these things that we have in the hopper ready to go. So you can streamline to that point. So I'm looking at some stuff. We're, we're looking at um, relaunching actually indie wrestling.us. I have a store with digital downloads, DVD sales for uh, guys that we work with. We do production for guys like the Renegade Wrestling Alliance, International Wrestling Cartel. I, I've done a couple of documentaries with Joe Dombrowski, including one with Zach Gowan, uh, Montreal Theory, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Plug, plug, plug. PittsburghWrestling.com. And that's really just been a page on Sorgatron Media. And I'm looking to brand split those. And, and so I have the Indie Wrestling.us over here that's going to be selling all that stuff. And we have an identity and we have the social media around that. And then Sorgatron Media will be the general because we do more than wrestling we do the healthcare like we're doing here we're doing uh work with nonprofits, work with startup companies coming up hopefully actually we just did one uh, a little bit uh, uh that, that hopefully i'll be able to share with you very soon uh, so i i don't want people coming and saying oh he just works with wrestling he's not interested in this stuff i want to show a variety but i'm also trying to plug hey go check out this dvd hey go check out the show so we're going to split that off a little bit. So I'm like, so I'm really thinking about how am I going to differentiate? How am I going to make that stick out in a world where there's the high spot videos, the smart marks, but it was smart market. Love working with the guys. We have some of our stuff up there as well. So uh, trying not to directly compete with them, but be an alternative. Uh, I have so much respect for those uh, Mike over there. Um, but so, so what can I do with Instagram? And I'm like, well, I want to do. Uh, uh, Eamon actually was gave me some ideas uh, with his Inspire Pro Wrestling. He actually runs the social media down there in Texas for that. And they were just making sure they had a picture every day. Uh, Dan Hoover is doing a great job with IWC Wrestling, uh, doing the same thing there. Go look up both of them. Uh, really cool pictures, especially Dan's. For Dan, for the most part, it's his own photography. So I, I kind of want to go in there and just snag some pictures. I kind of did kind of a setup precursor so I have content on the Twitter and the Facebook at least right now. And we'll work on Instagram here in a little bit. But uh, just like grabbing pictures, like my pictures from the wrestling shows, uh, uh, pictures of, of some like uh, uh, like some of the promo pictures and maybe writing a little bit about them and say, yeah, but, uh, you know, uh, this person's doing really awesome. Watch out. For, you know, we got shows from them. You know, you know, make sure to look out for that. Uh, but also, I think I want to take uh, clips like little highlight clips. And I've seen these around, too. There's, there's these little bits all over, and I think AIW uh, in Cleveland, uh, in Absolute Intense Wrestling, I think is what that stands for. A great group out there, They're doing awesome things. Uh, definitely, you know, keep an eye on them. But uh, you know, taking those clips, you know, fifteen sec under fifteen second clips, like a move, a dive, a headbutt, uh, this happened, this happened, something crazy happened here. The time Tommy Dreamer ate a hot dog from a whole another match a couple shows ago, and and take those moments, and you know, and I can put the graphics on there. It says you know, uh, from IWC Super Indie fourteen available at IndieWrestling.us, and then you know, hopefully that becomes something shareable and that's something regular and that's something where we have enough names like i put a clip of cm punk we have footage from that uh tommy dreamer we have footage from that and that's something people are going to be looking for because wrestling is really hot on instagram especially with wwe taking such 
a run with it. And I'm seeing that. I'm seeing that interaction with Inspire Pro Wrestling, with IWC, and what the guys are doing over there. Even the little bit that I post on Wrestling Mayhem Show's uh, Instagram account, which is mostly, honestly, clips, I just can't get in the flow with that. But being able to do that with, like, we have content and we have a product to sell, and how do we get eyeballs to it? So... So that's just a little bit of my thought process on how are we going to uh, angle these things and, and use something like Instagram. And this applies, again, across to you could do a lot of this to Vine. I think Vine has a little bit different vibe. I think the funny stuff really kind of pops up more there. Uh, but, but that we're making this on Instagram means it's going to be translatable to, again, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube even. I, I, I think we're going to start a YouTube for – we will start a YouTube for Indie Mayhem show. And I feel like that's redundant because there's all, so much video on there for all these feds on their own YouTube channels. But we take these clips and we can put some special commercials of our own on there as well. And even I'm considering making content, maybe taking Wrestling Mayhem Show, guys. This is all off the top of my head, guys. Uh, so don't get worried yet if you, any, any of the guys from the show are listening to this. Like maybe taking some of the Mayhem Show guys, have them do reviews of the shows, and we put that on a YouTube channel as well. Or write it up, write ups on a blog or something like that. How can we intermix all this stuff to prop it all up? We got a lot of stuff going on. That's just my ideas for Instagram. <laughs> That's just what I want to do with Instagram. And I didn't even get into some of the other properties I wanted to kind of brainstorm here uh, in this time. But uh, let me know what you think. Do you have something you're working on? that's a, a a property i even forgot a periscope but you guys are down there uh, I, I they haven't talked for a while i think i'm boring the crap out of them here tonight uh but do you have anything that you're trying to sell that you're trying to get out there um um that you're, you're some kind of message some kind of uh, series you know oh geez we could take next time i sit down with sawtooth willie and we film some of these shows we're due for it again i think i'm just going to have him do 15 second anecdotes and we're going to start a sawtooth willie instagram Somebody somebody hold me to that, okay? It's late. I'm just making so many promises. The closer it gets to midnight, the more unfounded promises I'm going to make the internet. So let me know what you think at Sorgatron on the Twitter, Sorgatron.com, and we'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at SorgatronMedia.com.